And welcome back. Well, it's no secret that with old age, getting around can be more difficult, and the bathroom can be one of the danger spots for seniors and the elderly. So Sean Flanick is back from walk-in tubs. You know you love him. He's brought <laughs> one of his friends. It's Alicia Davidson. She's from Ponte uh, Julio. There we right. go. Julio, yeah, right? There and they're manufacturers of the, a lot of the accessories you use to keep people safe. Absolutely. They're our go-to player for all, all the bathroom stuff that we use and we need, so they're very important to us. So as people age, obviously they have a lot of different safety concerns with things like stairs, for example, but the bathroom is one area where a lot of people get hurt, right? It is. It's tight quarters, slippery floors, mm -hmm. dealing with water and stuff, so a lot of people end up, unfortunately, having a fall and possibly injuring them, themselves in the bathroom. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's yeah. a lot of things you can do to help prevent that. Um, you know, some people just say, well, get a non-slip rug, but that's not really enough, right? Generally, no. Um, uh, the, the biggest obstacle seems to be actually climbing in and out of the current bathtub because yeah. it's a higher wall. You're, again, you're dealing with the water and people, that's where they really struggle is using something to get them over that wall, get in and out of the tub safely. Mm -hmm. And do you find that kids of aging parents are getting more involved in helping make decisions about how to modify a bathroom? I, I do. A, a lot of people have been coming to me lately and saying, you know, my mom or my dad, there's a little vanity there and they don't want to accept the fact that maybe they need something like this but I've watched them I've helped them and I can tell that they would definitely benefit from some of your products so I do talk to a lot of people that are looking at their parents and saying boy I really want to help them stay safe in their house yeah and you really go and evaluate someone's situation you know when we're looking at some of these pictures you also see we've got the phone number at the bottom because one thing you hear a lot from people who want to come see you is <laughs> you know hey I can't wait long I can't write the phone number down so we're gonna have it up most of this um, um, whole segment so people can write it down mm -hmm. but what do you do when you evaluate when you go to someone's home you look at what they have existing what are you looking for well I really take into the whole the whole concept is I, I want to see what they have in their bathroom currently and what I can do to help them but also what are their physical impairments you know um, everybody's a little different and mm -hmm. if it's a bad hip or ankle or knee or something that's preventing them from stepping safely or comfortably and is it the left leg right leg you know which way do we need to go with stuff and then also a consideration of what is their budget and how much can they afford to do all at once they don't have to do everything all at once obviously they can do a step-by-step -step process but primarily what can I do to help get them safe and start getting them safe today and then for the future as well when you say left leg left leg right leg is that because you may place things differently for people that and just yeah placement huh. different and are they gonna go in facing the wall with the yeah. water on it are they gonna go in the other way once they're in do they have to spin in a certain direction things you wouldn't consider, but when you go out and talk yeah. to people and they say, boy, I can't use this right knee at all, or it's been replaced and I have really trouble bending it, and, you know, things you have to consider to, not, not, not one size fits all kind of a thing, so. And do you modify existing tubs and showers or do you mm -hmm. put in whole new units? We do both. We do both. Um, the modification of the existing tub is something that's a, a one day, real quick, three to four hour project, something that keeps them safe instantly. Um, or we can also take out everything they have in there and kind of start with a clean slate and put in things that are going to keep them safe for the future as well. Mm -hmm. so. And one of those first modifications that people often make is the grab bar. And that's really kind of where you come into a lot mm -hmm. of this, Alicia, is that you guys manufacture these and, and work really hand in hand with walk in tubs. Oh, definitely. And there's just so many options out there that people aren't aware of. You you don't need to settle for a cold stainless steel institutional grab bar like this um, product here has over 18 different colors and we have stainless steel finishes and designs that look really elegant in your home and it feels so comfortable to use it doesn't look medical no you know? exactly and there are just so many options we have accessories that fit the entire bathrooms to create a solution for every purpose from folding supports to seats well and they can look good too I think Definitely. that's a great thing is that it doesn't have to look institutional like you said mm -hmm. and what our company loves to do to help people out is to create um, something if there's a custom area where they can't find a product for we can try to design something for them so it'll fit their need and they can feel safer mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Great. And, and you brought the color palette there too, so people mm -hmm. can see all the different options. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's one of the things you hear people ask you most or, or say to you once they've done it? Is it kind of this, why didn't I do it sooner? Yeah, it's definitely, why didn't I do it sooner? And or else, an another one I hear a lot is, I didn't know that was available. I yeah. didn't know that type of modification was even out there. I've been looking for years, I've been struggling with this for years, and I didn't even know that was an option for me, so. Yeah. 
It's wonderful that people can get a free consultation with you. You can mm -hmm. take a look at their bathroom. I know you do a great job of listening to people, what their needs are, what their mobility issues might be. You can call for a free evaluation at Walk-In Tubs of Wisconsin. They'll include two free grab bars with the installation of a walk-in tub or the Easy Bath Set Tub Insert. Um, you can find out more by calling the phone number that we've put up on our screen. Here it is again. It's 262 Four four three three nine five zero. You can also visit them at walkintubsofwisconsin.com, and you can see some of the different affiliations there on the screen as well. But again, the phone number is two six two four four three thirty nine fifty. Nice to have both Thanks of you here. Thanks a lot. Thank really you. appreciate it.